What is up guys? In this series, we're going to start looking at how we can use TK Inter to create some graphical user interfaces. And we're just going to create lots of cool programs such as the weight predictor, which is a very accurate tool for finding out how much you weigh. And as you can see right now, it tells us to insert our weight in kg, which is kilograms, and we're going to insert 62, and then we're going to calculate it. And what we're going to get as a response is a very accurate approximation of how much we weigh. So I thought this would be a very cool project for getting started with TK Inter. And later on in this series, we're going to create some more complex projects. But for now, let's just get started with using TK Inter. So as always, guys, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a main file. And the first thing we have to do inside here is import TK Inter as TK. And the very first thing we have to do is initialize, which means we're going to create a root, which is going to equal tk.tk. And that's going to take care of initializing the program. So this has to be done in essentially every single project. And let's also give this a title for the window. And we're just going to call it weight predictor 2021. Now for this approach, we're going to create a canvas and I'm just going to call it the main canvas. And the canvas is just the area of the window that we want to insert buttons and text. So that's going to equal a tk.canvas. And inside here, we are going to use the root and we want to specify the width of the canvas, which is going to be set to 400 pixels, followed by the height, which will be set at 300 pixels. I think we can skip that then if we don't need it. Then we have to go ahead and call our main canvas and call dot pack to make this work. Next, let's go ahead and create our first text label. So we're gonna call it title label, and that's going to equal tk.label. And inside here, we need to insert the root followed by the text we want to appear, which I'm just going to call weight predictor. Then we also want to give it a special font and font size. So font is going to equal Arial, and the font size is going to be 25. Now we have to go ahead and call our main canvas again, and we want to create this small window. So we're just gonna call create underscore window. And next we need to decide where we're going to place it. So we want to center it, and to do that, we're just going to call 200, and we want it to go 25 pixels down. So that's what these numbers translate to. As you can see, half of 400 is 200, and that's why we'll get it centered. And whatever number we place here, we'll just say how far down we want it to go. Then we just need to say that this window has a label, which is going to be called the title label. Then we're going to go ahead and create a sub label, which is going to equal a TK dot label. It's going to take the root again. And we need to choose what kind of text we want. So we will tell the user to insert your weight in kilograms. And then we can just copy this method over here, paste it under. We just need to change the location of the Y and do 75 instead and change this to sub label. Then let's say we also want to create an entry box. So we'll go ahead and type in entry text. And that's going to equal tk.entry. And inside here, we want to assign the root. Then the main canvas dot create window at the location of 200 for the center. 100 is going to be the Y. And the window is going to equal the entry text. Now we can actually go ahead and run the program by calling root.main loop. And if we right click on our app and click on run, you're going to notice we will get a new window similar to the old one with the exception that it's not yet finished. So we only have the text box, this text over here. And now we just need to finish it by adding some functionality such as a button that calculates our precise weight. So the next thing we're going to do is create a function. We're just gonna call it function for this example because that's easy. And we need to get the text entry. So we want to get the entry text dot get which is going to be the text from the text box. Then we want to create a result label. So result label, and that's going to equal TK label. It's going to take the roots. Then it's going to take U way plus the text entry plus kilograms. And the font is going to be set to Arial with a font size of 20. Then we also want to create this. So we'll type in main underscore canvas dot create window 200 200 for the location and the window is going to equal the result label. Finally, all that is missing is a button that we can use to process the function. 
So we're going to call this calculate underscore button. And that's going to equal tk dot button. And inside here, we're going to take the text, which is going to be called calculate. And it's going to take a command, which is going to equal the function without the parentheses. And we also should give it a foreground color, which is the color of the text. And I'm going to set that to black. Finally, just like everything else, we have to go ahead and call the main canvas dot create window. And inside here, 200, 150 for the Y. And the window is going to equal this calculate button. And I forgot to go to our function and write text. So make sure you insert this. Now let's go ahead and rerun this program. Now you'll end up with a program similar to this one, if not exactly this one. And if we want to insert our weight, we just type in a number and we click on calculate. Of course, this program isn't that accurate because I actually weigh 62 kilos. And here it says I only weigh 60 kilos. What an idiotic program. But the concept remains the same. We now created our very first TK inter program. And I'm looking forward to creating some more complex programs as we progress with the series. But with that being said, if you have any comments or questions or even ideas, just leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to look at them. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.